That is Josh Hader from last week. Josh Hader joins us now on MLB Tonight. Uh, you're the best in the business, a five-year, $95 million deal. Congratulations on that. Did you enjoy being a free agent, Josh? This is your first bite of the free agent apple. I appreciate it. Yeah, it was uh, it was different. I mean, I think it's a little bit different for everybody that goes along uh, the free agency role. Uh, for us, it was a little slow, but uh, at the end of the day, it was fun to, you know, discuss – um, with different teams and, and kind of see their interest and kind of what their plans were for the long term. And for us as a family, we were we were looking to stay somewhere for a long term. And, you know, Houston brought that to us. So uh, you heard the question that was brought up at the press conference regarding your pitching restrictions that I, by the way, fully support. I fully support. I think relievers are, are not coddled like starting pitchers. No offense, Jake Peavy, but like like starting pitchers are, where they're worried about you know every fifth day, uh, how many innings, how many pitches. So you trying to manage your career for longevity makes a lot of sense. But how much did the pitching restriction topic come up during negotiations with other teams? Never, never came up. You know, I think that was one of the biggest things that a lot of people. Um, you know, hovered over me. And it's not something that I made up. The arbitration system told me the traditional role is of a closer is where the value is in relievers. You know, I was in a role where I played the analytics and I went multiple innings and, and you know, pretty much did whatever the team told me. And, you know, I think a lot of people, they don't get to be inside that room and see kind of what's discussed uh, in, that, in that arbitration room. So, you know, I was told to my face that, you know, that's what you're doing is not worth it. So at the end of the day, I had to protect myself because if I don't, the team isn't going to protect me for the long term and for my family. So, you know, that's something that, you know, I had to hold strong. But at the end of the day, um, you know, at, we were, we're all here to win. Um, and the playoffs was a different beast. You know, that wasn't something that I put uh, on anybody's head. Like I was full game on, on the on the playoffs because at the end of the day, once you get there, you know, it's uh, it's all hands on deck. Hey, Jake Peavy, congrats on the deal, buddy. And I remember those days when you were going multiple innings and hadn't forgotten. Like I said, kudos to you for taking care of your family on, on a great deal. I want to talk to you about you, you've done everything in the game. You're a five-time All-Star. You, you've, you've broken every record there is. You've been reliever of the year three times. How much did going to Houston and knowing that you would have a chance for that ultimate prize in the World Series, the seemingly only thing you have left to accomplish, how much did that play into the decision in free agency? Appreciate it, Petey. Um, You know, the biggest thing for us was, yeah, like you said, win a World Series. And, you know, Houston Astros have done that. And, you know, when you look at from the outside in, looking at these guys and, and the way they go about their business, the way they play the game and, and the camaraderie uh, in between, you know, I don't, I'm not in the clubhouse, but, you know, when you're on the field, you can see when a team is gelling well. And, you know, that's something that we want to be a part of. And at the end of the day, if we can be a part of that and be a part of it long term, you know, that's that's how you win that ultimate goal, which is win a World Series. Josh, hey, man, it's Sean Casey. Talk about being a, a part of something that's pretty awesome. Ryan Presley at the back end of the pen and Brian Abreu has one of the best arms in baseball. How excited are, are you to be a part of what you think might be the best um, bullpen in the game? Oh, I'm super excited. You know, just like I said, watching these guys on TV, obviously, uh, in playoffs, being able to, uh, to go how, see how they go about their business. You know, even just the pitching staff alone, you know, I'm excited just to learn from these guys. And I think as, I mean, as you guys know, you can never learn too much in this game and you can always, as long as you stay learning uh, more things, that's how you become better. And for me to learn with what these guys do day in and day out and see how they approach the game, get their mindset, um, you know, watch their routines. You never know when you can add to your routine. So, um, you know, we're just extremely excited to be a part of it. You know, uh, being around big leaders all the time, they all talk about adversity and how you deal with adversity. You really never tasted adversity until you went in your first cup of tea with the uh, San Diego Padres. You somehow reversed that, had a sub-2 ERA last year. So what did you learn, Josh Hader, through your first taste of adversity in San Diego? It was really just knowing what I do best and, and really uh, sticking to my routine. I think that was the biggest thing is, you know, when things happen like that, a lot of guys try to, you know, make things up and, and switch up what they do on a daily basis. And for me, it's I knew what worked and I knew how my body worked. It's just, you know, getting with the right people to 
Um, you know, for me, I added plyos to my routine, um, you know, so that helped me out a lot and just finding my arm path. I think there was a lot of times where my arm angle was a little bit different and not being able to stay consistent on that, which then um, sprayed my fastball around the zone. So, you know, getting getting with the guys in San Diego and, and kind of learning a little bit more about the analytics. Uh, I was never really too much of an analytic guy, but, um, you know, I think there's a good mix when you can mix, you know, feel and what you see with the analytics. I think that's how you can become, um, you know, a little bit better. And, you know, that's really what helped me is just getting with Ruben and all those guys and, you know, seeing what my body's doing, making sure that, you know, I'm consistent with my hands and all that. So, you know, that was a big step in my career. So you confirmed that the pitching restrictions that you have did not play into your free agency. Did Dan Plesak come up at any point <laughs> during your free agency? Because, again, you were eight saves away from the Brewers' all-time career saves uh, record, which Dan Plesak holds. And I'm just wondering, did you immediately eliminate the Brewers from your free agency um, you know, possibilities because you cared about your friend Dan Plesak? No, that, he never came up, but I was thinking maybe down the road, maybe we can revisit that <laughs> and see what happens. Okay, <laughs> you got it. Josh Hader, the new closer of the Houston Astros, congratulations on the new deal. We really appreciate your time. Best of luck in 2024. Appreciate you guys. Thanks for having me.